comparison between last year's M1 driver and the new M3. So what I've done is I've set up the weight tracks quite similar, one forward for low spin and one in the middle, so quite a neutral setup on both. We're using a 10.5 degree head and we're gonna use last year's Kurokage stiff flex shaft in both. So we get a fair comparison of performance of head. So I have uh, the indicator dots on the face for the GC2 HMT monitor we use. So we're gonna start with M1 and what I'm gonna attempt to do is hit it high right and then high right out of the M3 and just see how much straighter and how much more control I'm gonna have with that one. Let's have a little look. Results. So you can see now our uh, launch monitor numbers. The first two in red are the 2017 M1 driver and the blue is 2018 the M3. So both 10.5 degree heads with the Kurokaje stiff shaft. So down the far right you'll see the position of impact which is what we want to test of off-center hits. So in the M1 I hit 8 millimeters toe too high and six millimeters off the toe off the center. Um, M3 was again taken off the toe and you'll see the comparison. So you'll see the, the flight here. Um, look, the M3 went a little bit shorter as far as distance, but the key is that it was less offline. So it was 10 meters less offline so the first two with the uh, m1 went on average 44 meters left of target as i predicted off the toe and the same impact or similar impact was 33 meters off target so there is some movement there with that twist face of correcting those off uh, center hits so this m3 has certainly got some hidden ingredients in that twist face and i suggest you come down and book into turbo golf and test for yourself Thank you.